Yeah, clump your legs, clump your feet together at that point. Honestly, I don't know what to do. Just like, I can maybe like, small, small my shoe into it. I did that first move though. You stupid stuff, be ya. No way. It just pulls you down. That'll work. Mm. Once you hit this, it, it, the heel's better as well. This climb is called La Paramara and it gets 7B from a stand. I think some people give it 7B plus. It's got some amazing holes. The rock is so cool. I've never seen rock like this in the lakes for sure. I don't know if I've seen rock like this in the UK. Um, there's like really cool like seams in the face um, and the crimp that you go to from the first move is really tiny you've got to do a big massive move off it that's only probable because of the heel toe cam you can get in and then you hit this amazing slope match in um, and then i had to turn the heel to a toe to do the last move or like the final hard move um, but you can keep the heel toe in there is a sit but for me the line starts like on this really obvious hold um, and the sit adds a couple of moves into it but i think the line for me is like from the obvious hold in the face. Um, yeah, I would definitely put this in 50 of the best because of the moves, the holds and the beautiful location. Go. Oh, what? The 
very far right hand side of the scene in front of your face. And then swap feet and then you want to go right hand up to that areti block hold. Not good. It's, it's fine, it's just not a huge jug. Whoa, that was scary. And there's one above it that's more or less the same hold. Ah, that's one. That I'm easy. not doing that again. <laughs> Can I have three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not the moon. Right on his face there. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I got so pumped. Yeah, well done. Thanks. It's spooky at the top, isn't it? It's so spooky. I hate, I hate that heel. I but... actually prefer improper. You yeah. said it would. Yeah. One of them's in the 50 best. We're at the Bowderstone now and I really like climbing here. It's like board style climbing. It's this really cool face, just full of holds. Um, it feels more like a training venue in some ways because the climbs kind of all overlap and do different things. Um, but we had to include it because it's just, it's so impressive. Like it's just this big chunk of rock. The rock here is basalt, which is the same as Dumbarton. So the climbing is similar in some ways but here it definitely feels more like climbing on a board whereas at Dumbarton it was almost like doing boulders and climbing lines a little bit more which I guess is maybe not what you would think of Dumbarton as but we really like both anyway. Um, I just did Grand Opera which is straight up the middle of this big face. Um, it's spooky, the moves are quite difficult, it is interesting climbing you have to keep tension you have to get heel hooks and make the holds work they're not they're obvious where they are but not how to hold them um yeah i i think i prefer improper opera which goes right and grand opera goes straight up but grand opera i think is the like more obvious route straight up the face so i'm gonna put that i'm gonna put grand opera in my 50 of the best because the rock the bowderstone is just so cool and the climb just goes straight up the face. I also did the sit today, which gets 8B, but felt easier than most of the 7Bs I've done on this tour. So maybe I should put that in my top 57s. I don't know, I think I'll upset some people. <laughs> One of my favourite places in the world. Why? Because it's so beautiful, except these flies who are not normally here. I'm here with Gracie Martin and Matt Goodman. He gets jazz hands too. And Ned, Frankie. who's hiding I'm off. And Frankie, who's hanging out with Arona down there. Arona's our amazing nanny. But she doesn't like being called a nanny because it feels a bit weird. Childminder. We'll go with Childminder. I think it's pretty good. The last two holes Thank you. 
that was the overhang sit start which gets seven a plus in the guide i really like the there's this cool move where you like backhand um a good edge that's really chunky behind your head and you have to flip it round and then climb up on some kind of smallish holds go to a nice slope at the top and then mantle out the best bit about that boulder is the view you get when you get to the top beautiful the valley I'm gonna put this boulder in my 50 of the best because of the location and the there is a really cool move on it some cool holds too but yeah the location is kind of 10 out of 10 I think that's so cute bud Oh, do you have my little bracelet? Come here. And you've got a little pair there. Oh, that's not a cool hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can put your heel on. This one? Yeah, go on. Really? Go on. I think you can match and then put your foot up. We're now at Woodwell and the rock here is limestone so a little bit different to what we've been filming on every single time we've been filming. Well, we haven't filmed on limestone yet right? Nope. This is our first one? Yep. Cute. I love limestone. This boulder is Angel Delight Double E um, and it's 7A. I think. This is my first time climbing on this boulder and it's really fun. The first two moves, like you cross to a really cool pinch and then do a big move to a very friendly jug. And then it's got some like harder climbing at the top. You have to get involved a bit. Um, I really like climbing on limestone and this is one of the more fun climbs I've done. So therefore it's going in the top 50 or 50 of the best as we're calling it. So, I have no idea what this crag's called because everyone says it really fast. So it's either tro or trow, and I think it's barrow. So it's, but everyone says trow barrow. Trow barrow, trow barrow, trow barrow. I am going to try Ned's problem because it's Ned's problem. And it's 7B, I think. It's just so hot right now. I don't know how I'm gonna climb anything. <laughs> This, I think this boulder is really cool though. It's just like plonked here in the middle of this. Is it a quarry? Yeah. In the middle of the quarry. How did it even get here? The moves on this look really cool. You have to do a big crossover off a toe or a heel. I don't know if I've done this before. I've done quite a lot on this crack. <laughs> Ned's having a great time with Frankie. Um, <laughs> they're currently wrestling, trying to get her trousers on. Who wants to wear trousers when it's this hot? Just put your feet on. <laughs> Look, that, what about that one? Very, very slippery. Oh, I wasn't this slippery when I did it. Let's go to <laughs> Nailed it. I did it. In about 2007.
Yeah. Shall we go home? Yeah, go, go to the top, go on. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah. Oh. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. I don't really like that move. I just did Ned's problem, which gets 7B. It's very board style, pulling on good holds. I guess the kind of hard moves. Feels hard today. I did it second go today because my foot popped on my first go. Limestone for you. <laughs> I felt like we should definitely put something on this boulder in the top 50 because it is amazing, I think. Like it's so random that it's just perched here. Um, and then obviously my favorite boulder on this boulder is Ned's boulder, Ned's problem because my darling husband put it up.